Thanks for the kind introduction and the chance to, to speak here. And I try to use my three minutes as, as, as efficient as possible. Um, so this talk is, is not only uh, showing my work, but uh, a team's work, and especially teachers who cannot, uh, who is not here today, but I present this also uh, for him. Um, I work for Brockman Consult, which is a, a small enterprise in, in Hamburg. So we are uh, at the interface, or we, we work since uh, quite long in bringing the data to the people and uh, either developing software or services that facilitate the, the um, exploitation of Earth observation data. So we, for example, uh, developed the, the SNAP application and now um, are very active in this analysis-ready data. Uh, um, we are. So you see on, on the top right, there are some projects and then some platforms we have been involved uh, uh, with. So these platforms are supported by and funded by ESA, Eurodata Cube, and the Earth System Data Lab to exactly do this job that we've been talking about uh, over the last uh, two days, making it easier uh, to find and access and exploit uh, data also from from very different streams. Um, so on the top left, you see um, the, the basic steps that we also follow here. First of all, we, we establish access to this relevant uh, data from Earth observation, but also from modeling. Um, so we connect all these data and we bring them to a common data model and specification. We make them analysis ready. And once you're there, you can uh, um, much easier work with them um, together. And then on top of that, we build services and applications. So see examples here, these uh, on the, on the, in the middle, um, there's these virtual processing labs typically based on Jupyter for expert users. You may have uh, tailored dashboards. Uh, if you have very specific needs of use cases, you cannot um, meet with uh, standard or generic tools. And on the top left, you have the, the web view. That that's the first application that we also use for you for health, and, and I'll just show you a, a video of it because I didn't want to gamble with a live demo here in three minutes. And let's see if that works. It doesn't, no, it works. So this is uh, how it looks like now. It's um, uh, showing you a, a map view, and you see there on the, on the top left, you can Select from different data sets. That's the, the first sets we integrated here. And then uh, there are different variables. Uh, in that case, it's the Vestnile probability occurrence. And um, of course, you can interactively zoom in and out. You can identify some regions of interest. Um, you may manipulate the, the way you are looking at the data. In this case, we, we mask out the low values. So you only see uh, where probability is higher than a certain threshold. You may look at time series, uh, select a certain image in this time series. When you click on at one of these dots, you may go to this uh, particular date. And then you can also cycle through this and um, play a, uh, an animation or look at uh, different uh, other variables at the, same, at the same date. And I... Now zoom out and, and show you this animation feature. Hopefully, yes. So then you can see kind of like a movie um, on in the time series bar, you have this uh, moving um, time slider, let's say, and on the left you see that the, the data is, is loading. Um, that's uh, all cloud-based and we work with um, multi-resolution data pyramids to make this efficient. Um, uh, and performant also for um, for users that may not have the infrastructure because this is all um, then done in the cloud. This is now uh, the other data set. And um, of course, um, that's just the beginning. We recently started with a project. We will add more data and we will also try to understand the the needs of, of other users so that we can um, develop from here. I just saw my time's up sign, so um, I let the video continue while we change the speaker, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>